Hello there, you're now with me, Douglas Elliott for TVS News at 5. We begin with a top story. Another iconic figure has left us. Just today, on September 15, it was announced that former MIC President and Cabinet Minister Tun Dr. S. Sami Valu has passed away peacefully at his home in Kuala Lumpur. His death was announced by Dr. Sri Dr. S. Subramaniam, who was also the party's former president, in a Facebook post. Sami Valu, who was 86, was the Sungai Siput MP from 1974 to 2008. He served in two ministerial portfolios as the Works Minister from 1979 to 1989 and later from 1995 to 2008. Meanwhile, from 1989 to 1995, Sami Valu took up the portfolio as the Energy, Telecommunications and Post Minister. Born on March 8, 1936, he was the longest-serving MIC president after holding the position for 31 years from 1979. Sami Valu served under three prime ministers during his time in the cabinet, who sent on Dr. Mahadir Mohammad and Abdullah Ahmad Badawi. He was also one of the longest-serving ministers, having been in the cabinet for 29 years. He retired from politics in 2020. Meanwhile, for those who wish to pay their last respects may do so from 2 p.m. at his residence. The cortege will leave at 3 p.m. tomorrow and arrive at the DBKL crematorium in Chiras at 4 p.m. Sami Valu had led a full and glorious life and is regarded with deep respect and appreciation, said former MIC President Tantri Dr. S. Subramaniam, who was among the first to announce his passing. Tributes continue to pour in from well-wishers, including politicians from both divides. MCA President Dr. Sri Dr. Wee Ka Siong also took to Facebook to pay tribute to Sami Valu, saying his demise was a great loss to society and the country. Senior Works Minister Dr. Sri Fadila Yusuf on his Facebook post stated that the passing of Sami Valu was greatly felt by all and his sacrifices will continue to be cherished. Meanwhile, MCA Central Committee member Chan Queen Er also paid tribute to Sami Valu, saying she was deeply saddened to hear of his passing. Ipo Bharat MP M. Kula Sagaran described Sami Valu as a fighter in many ways. Another Batukawan MP, Kashturi Pato, said her late father P. Pato battled head on with Sami Valu for the Sungai Siput seat in two elections, 1974 and 1990, both of which Pato narrowly lost. Sami Valu, who was the Sungai Siput MP from 1974, was unseated by Dr. Michael Jayakumar Devaraj of Party Socialist Malaysia PSM in the 2008 general election. Jayakumar, who went on to defend a seat at the 2013 poll, said Sami Valu brought about a fair amount of development to Sungai Siput in terms of roads and the Taman Tun Sambatan low-cost housing project. Preparations to face the annual monsoon season, which is expected to start from early December till end of January, has begun for the Sarawak Fire and Rescue Department, Bomba. Its director, Kirudin Drahman, said, as a precautionary measure, plans are afoot to move firefighters and assets to areas where severe flooding are expected to occur to avoid any untoward incidents. Keadaan cuaca ni, lapuan ni sebelum awal ni adalah bulan sembilan ni adalah musim panas, kering. Tetapi apa yang berlaku perubahan musim yang tidak kita jangka. Tapi kita dah gerakkan uh, arahan di bawah MTL kita lah, Menusun Timur Laut, persediaan, kesiapsiagaan. Dan kita juga menerima arahan daripada NADMA, uh, terima arahan daripada pejabat untuk kita menggerakkan aset. Walau bagaimanapun, uh, untuk uh, persiapan negeri Sarawak ni sebenarnya kita... Dengan komuniti dah, kita dah bersedia dah. Sebab itulah di bawah Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat, agensi-agensi terlibat dah, kita dah gerakkan. Adding to that, 
Kiridin said that through advocacies that were made throughout the year, he believes that the community is very well prepared when it comes to any disaster. Advocacy yang telah kita buat sepanjang tahun 2021 dan awal 2022 ni banyak mendidik champion-champion community di kawasan-kawasan ini mereka lebih bersedia. Maknanya elemen panik tidak berlaku. According to the Malaysian Meteorological Department, Met Malaysia, the monsoon season normally starts from September to November. Met Malaysia, however, expects the 2022-2023 monsoon season to start in November 2022 and will carry on until March 2023. According to Matt's forecast, heavy rain is expected in Kelantan, Terengganu and Pahang from November to December 2022, while Johor, Sabah and Sarawak are expected to face the monsoon from December 2022 to January 2023. With less than 24 hours to go, Bintulu is all geared up to play host for the state level 59 Malaysia Day celebration tomorrow. Final rehearsal was conducted smoothly on Wednesday evening, with the minister in charge, Dr. Sri Dr. Stephen Rundi Utom, present to witness the last minute preparation at Bintulu Old Airport. The celebration, which is slated to kick off at 7.30 p.m., will be graced by Head of State Tun Pehin Sri Abdul Taib Mahmud and wife Topwan Datuk Patinggi Ragat Kridi Taib, as well as Premier of Sarawak Datuk Patinggi Tan Sri Abang Johari Tun Openg and wife Puan Sri Datuk Amar Jumaini Tuan Ku Bujang. The colorful concert will also see performances by Dato M. Nasir, Andy Bernardi, Romlis Walter, Florence Law, Claudia Gares, and more. Highlight of the event would be the raising of the Jalor Gamilang flag and fireworks display that will light up the night sky. Over 5,000 visitors are expected to attend the celebration. Catch the state-level 59 Malaysia Day celebration live only on TVS Astro Channel 122 and My Free View, as well as on the Sarawak Public Communication Unit UCASP Facebook page and YouTube channel. 
The Malaysia Agreement 1963 or MA63 is an important piece of document that led to the formation of MA63 Special Committee, which preludes to the birth of the Federation of Malaysia. And of late, the matter has gained newfound traction and has been a hotly debated topic among many. However, the younger generation are not aware of their rights under MA63. Thus, education and school syllabus is needed to inculcate the MA63 struggles. So our autonomies are rights, uh, protecting and reclaiming our rights, and even uh, you know, different ways, because uh, we need constitutional experts uh, to, to come up with this, legal experts to, to educate us, to, you know, to promote our rights here, our rights. But the, for the young people, we, we have to come up with syllabus, we have to come up with textbooks, uh, guidebooks, etc., you know, workbooks, etc. Then perhaps we can start a clubs, uh, clubs, uh, you know, clubs uh, to, in, in the school. Uh, after all, Sarawak, we have our, our Minister of uh, Education, Sarawak, as well. And, uh, you know, through other NGOs, uh, but the government need, need to sponsor a whole thing so that the, the you know, what uh, goes Sarawak rights, uh, Sarawak autonomy, literacy will be, um, you know, step sponsored and will be systematic, will be, uh, be effective. Uh, it is not uh, just a hit and run yeah, or subject to, uh, you know, kind of trigger happy because of certain subject, uh, a certain issue, you know, like electoral rights, uh, election come, they talk about election rights. It has to be systematic so that all of us, including our counterparts in Malaya, uh, in Kuala Lumpur, federal side, as well as Sabah, we can uh, understand each other so that uh, we have gaps to develop and learn from each other. Government uh, under Adinan Setem, uh, our uh, former Premier, former Chief Minister, and now our YB, Abang Jo, we can see that uh, we are trying to bring up all the uh, good sides of our MSCG3 and also federal constitution. Uh, also, we are campaigning, educating in their ways. But uh, I could see that uh, it is not enough because uh, it's we need to be very systematic now. If we are not systematic, then they will... Commenting further on the new agreement related to MA63 brought up in Parliament recently, Dr Voon was in opinion that the current agreement should be respected and called for the new review towards the federal constitution. See that, uh, actually, MA63 has, has a saving cross, huh? Okay, as a security clause also in terms of safeguards as well, translated in the federal constitution. But there is also, uh, uh, as I said, saving clause so that people can change it. People can change the federal constitution through amendments, through uh, etc. But many a times, because uh, of the problems that we, uh, you know, over time, over space, and you know, people forget, people are not looking into it. Uh, they will, they will not being stressed. They are ignored. So a lot of laws are repealed and some laws are added. See the world closer with TVS as we bring you the latest news update, both locally and internationally. Just a click away by visiting our website at tvstv.my or follow us on our social media. And that's all the time we have for TBS News at 5. Join Charles Shimonato on TBS 9 Line tonight. I'm Zach Elliott. Thank you for watching.